Hello everyone, welcome back. So I was watching a video from Jamie from Journey North. Um, I'm going to put a link in the description to his channel. Um, but he does some awesome stuff with old tools, he refurbishes them, he gives you a great history of them. It's, it's just an awesome channel, awesome guy. Um, so I'm going to give you a link in the description to my brother's channel. And I had mentioned that um, I had a bricklayer's hammer or masonry hammer. That was my dad's. Um, so here it is. And it's a Stanley 24 ounce. It's in nice shape. Um, all I did was just a little wire brushing to get some of the mortar that was on here. And if you don't know what a masonry hammer is, basically this is used when you're bricklaying, you're doing cinder blocks, and um, you tap along where you want to break the brick, you're basically cutting it. And I'll tell you what, when you got some practice with this thing, you can make a very, very accurate cut. And um, my dad had a few of these, I think my brother has the other one. And 20 um, some odd years ago, it loosened up, and I forget where I was, but I didn't have access to take it all apart and fix it. And I just threw a couple screws in the top. Jamie, don't cringe. <laughs> But uh, it, it needs a new handle. But the way it goes is when my boys were small and I would take out a tool that was my father's, I would say, your grandpa had this in his hand. And they were like fascinated with that. And um, for that reason, I want to see if I could fix this. Um, I don't know if it's going to work. I may have to end up putting a new handle on it, but uh, I'm going to try. So what I'm going to do is, I got some various little dowels that I whittled down, and I'm going to glue these in here. And after I glue them in, and it's all set up, I'm going to take a nice uh, rasp, and I'm going to try to reprofile this to see if I can get it presentable. Um, and then I made a little maple wedge. And I have a steel wedge also. I might put that in. Don't know how it's going to come out, but I'd love to save the handle. So first thing I'm going to do is just glue this in. And when this sets, I'll bring you back. All right. So I got that pretty well plugged up. It's not looking too bad. Hopefully it works. So now I have my Oreon, Oreo. Ori Wee made in France cabinet uh, rasp that my son gifted me. And I'll tell you what, this thing uh, is pretty awesome. Half round on this side, flat on this side. And what I'm going to do is reprofile this and take that shoulder out. So, you know, basically just work the rasp on it. Nothing exciting. So I'll get at that, and I'll bring you back when uh, that's finished. All right, that, that actually cleaned up pretty nice. So now I'm going to start to drive this on, like I showed you uh, when I did my axe video. Going to be hitting it from this side. I can't do it in front of the camera. Um, but uh, first I'm going to put a kerf in here so I can put my wedge in. So I'm going to just saw a kerf in there, very simple, and then I'm going to drive this on and I'll bring you back. Alright, that went on really nice. I am, I'm so pleased with that. So now I'm going to just glue my wedge in, just like that. Um, really, I, I'm actually blown away. I'm pretty sure I'm not going to have to put a new handle on it. Then uh, we'll clean this up. Well, I actually may not even clean it up. may just leave it as is. But let me get the wedge in, and I'll bring you back when that's dry, and we'll trim off the end here. All right. Well, I am pleasantly surprised. I, I love the way it came out. I it's good to go. I can start uh, laying some bricks now. I, I don't think I'm going to do anything else to it. I really don't. Um, as soon as I can get myself 
uh, my hands on some linseed oil. I may just put some linseed oil on it, but I mean, you can see down here where uh, my dad would hold this like this and tap down bricks. Yeah, uh, I'm so pleased with that. That came out great, and that is not going anywhere. Little unorthodox uh, repair, but it worked. And um, I really appreciate you all coming along and watching this. And like always, everyone, thank you so much for all your comments and, you know, your, your likes and everything that you do for me. And hopefully you enjoyed seeing this. And um, we'll see you on the next one.